Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tag video, the Sweet Dreams Tag 8 Gourmand Fragrances. I was tagged by two wonderful reviewers here on YouTube, Joss Jane and Service Fragrance. I can link their channels down below if you haven't already. Uh, sub to them or watch their videos. This tag was started by Scented Snowdrops on Instagram or Jon Snow on YouTube. So I'll also link his channel as well. And, you know, feel free to check out their channels. Thank you so much for starting the tag. So these are going to be eight gourmand fragrances and there are eight categories, chocolate, ice cream, tea, coffee, fruit, sweet goodies, booze, and carnal. And so I've, chose, I've chosen eight fragrances from each of these categories. Yeah, I love gourmand fragrances, you guys. It's probably my most favorite type of fragrance ever. <laughs> and so I'm really excited to talk about these ones as my glasses fog up once again. Okay. Okay. So let's begin with chocolate. So chocolate in fragrance is just something that I absolutely love. I'm pretty sure most of you love chocolate and a lot of you are gourmand lovers who are watching me so you probably also love chocolate perfumes as well. The chocolate fragrance that I chose to talk about today is actually a newer one in my collection. I just got it like a week ago. This is Choco Musk by Al Rehab. A very affordable scent. I paid like 13 euros or 14 euros for this one including shipping so that was a great deal and it's actually very similar to Montel Chocolate Greedy. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Chocolate Greedy uh, you might want to check this one out. It's Choco Musk Al Rehab. It's, it also comes in an oil form, a rollerball, uh, which I have tried as well a long time ago and I remember it being, to, uh, I remember it smelling really nice, but I'm not really a fan of rollerballs. So here is the EDP version. And yeah, it's just a very simple and straightforward chocolate powder, chocolate cocoa, um, drink mix, the chocolate kind. And yeah, very simple. It lasts quite well on me, especially on my clothing when I wear this. And I think that it would be perfect wearing, you know, just on its own as a simple chocolate, cocoa, milk chocolate kind of scent. But also if you wanted to add like an extra punch of chocolate to any fragrance you're already wearing, I think it would be great for layering as well. So Choco Musk, Al Rehab, that is my choice for the chocolate category. Now the next category here is ice cream. So ice cream notes. Well, I love ice cream notes. I love also eating ice cream, of course, but um, there's only one perfume that I can call like the Holy Grail ice cream perfume. It's by far the best one that I've ever tried. It's the most literal version of a perfume um, that I've smelled that smells like ice cream, like literally it smells like ice cream. And so much so that the name of the perfume has ice cream in it. So uh, by Ganache Parfums, this is called Ice Cream Shop. And I'm not sure if it's still around. I'm not sure if it's been reformulated, uh, but I have the old version. And you guys, this is literally the best ice cream scent ever. Like there's like no competition when it comes to ice cream scents. This is the best. <laughs> so it's called Ice Cream Shop and it smells like you're walking into an ice cream shop and all of those beautiful smells you would smell in an ice cream shop. So it smells mostly to me like rum raisin ice cream. What I also love about this is that the texture, creamy, milky, sweet, smooth that texture of ice cream i also smell it in here as well and it is just something that makes my mouth water it is mind-blowing how good this is you guys <laughs> i absolutely love this and if you get a chance to try ice cream shop especially in the older bottles like I said, I'm not sure if it's been reformulated. I'm assuming it is, but I'm not sure. Um, but this version I have is ph phenomenal. 
vanilla ice cream, rum raisin ice cream, sweet, delicious, realistic, literal, and um, amazing. So that's ice cream shop from Ganesh Parfums. The next category is tea. So I have quite a few tea fragrances, but the one that is most gourmand to me is a fragrance from the house of Floraiku, and it's called One Umbrella for Two. So I just have like a travel size here. This fragrance is like amazing, you guys. It's just... It's just crazy how realistic this smells. So this mostly smells like you're baking blueberry muffins in the oven, or if you're like in a bakery where they only made blueberry muffins. And then opening up the oven and all of those warm, sweet, fruity, bready smells that fill the room. Um, yeah, that's what this smells like. And imagine that, but also sipping a cup of an oversteeped blueberry tea. Those two together is what I get in here. So it's <laughs> so delicious, you guys. Very realistic, just like the ice cream shop. Extremely underrated. Yes, also very extremely expensive. Or very extremely. <laughs> it's extremely expensive, but if you at least uh, get a chance to test it, then you should do because it is, it is so, so good. And blueberry muffins is like my favorite or one of my favorite desserts. So when I smell this, it feels like I'm like eating a dessert. So that is the tea fragrance. Uh, this is part of actually the collection Secret Teas and Spices. So yeah, One Umbrella for Two from Floraiku is the one I chose for the tea category. So the next one, the next category is coffee. So with coffee scents, I talk a lot about kerosene follow. That's probably my favorite. But today I wanted to talk about a different one that I have talked about here and there on my channel, but not so much. This is from the house of Atelier Cologne and it's called Cafe Tuberosa. So Atelier Cologne is mostly known for their citrus scents, but they also offer wonderful scents that aren't citrus. This is probably my favorite non-citrus scent from the house. And it's basically the scent of dark roasted coffee beans with a big dose of like a floral bouquet behind it. But what you get first is really like a dark chocolatey, dark chocolatey coffee house coffee beans that are very deep and strong um, maybe a little bit bitter as well but i don't really mean that in a bad way uh, but it's basically coffee and flowers uh, but the coffee note is quite strong in the opening it's kind of like a big wake me up fragrance where if you forgot to or you've ran out of time in the morning to make a coffee or to drink a coffee, uh, you can spray this on and you'll get the same feeling. <laughs> At least I do anyways. So this is ca um, Cafe Tuberosa from Atelier Cologne. Um, although it's a Cologne Absolu, it does last quite well on me. Unlike the other Atelier Cologne fragrances, which, well, the citrus ones don't last very long, but I still really enjoy them a lot but yeah this is cafe tuberosa from atelier cologne as my coffee scent next category is fruit so a large uh, a large part of my collection are fruity scents i love fruity scents but the one i chose for today is from the house of dior and it's rouge trafalgar so this is like the cutest little 40 ml bottle. I believe they stopped making these and now they only sell them in 125 mils and 250 mils, <laughs> which is just way too much for, for me anyways. I, I really wish they kept on making these beautiful 40 ml size um, bottles. But this one is such an easy to wear fruit blast, fruit juice scent, 
It is mostly berries like raspberries and strawberries, but it doesn't have that texture of raspberry and strawberries. This one is just very much like the juice that you would get if you squeezed them out. And there's also some floral notes in here and some musk as well. But basically, it's a very pleasant, easy to wear, everyday floral fruity scent where I just really enjoy how they uh, handled the fruits in here because it's quite refreshing and cooling, kind of in the same way as Limpera Trees by d and is, where uh, the, fruit, the fruitiness is quite transparent and light. Um, I get that same idea in here, although they don't smell anything alike. So this is watery, fresh, uh, bright, and fizzy red fruits, red fruit juice, and uh, a beautiful scent for year round, and I absolutely love it. So that's Rouge Trafalgar by Christian Dior from their private collection for the fruit category. The next category is sweet goodies. Again, I have many fragrances in this category that fits in sweet goodies. But today I chose La Nuit Trésor Nude from the House of Lancôme. This is like one of the cutest bottles that I own. I think it's just so adorable with the little um, bow there. But this is basically well, it was one of my favorite releases from last year. And this one actually grew on me as well. I really liked it when I first tried it. And then as I tested it and wore it more, I liked it more and more. So yeah, this is just a very delicious candy-like, creamy, vanilla, marshmallowy, coconutty kind of scent. It is just gorgeous. <laughs> I feel really pretty when I wear this one for some reason and I just like how sweet it is but it's not like overly sweet. It has like gourmandy touches in here but it's just a really nice pleasant uh, sweet goodies kind of scent where I kind of do smell like candy like uh, sweetness in here but to me it's not like immature or too young. I think anyone can pull this off and when I wear this I feel like I kind of need to be dressed up a little bit as well. So that's Sweet Goodies, category Lancôme La Nuit Trésor Nude. Okay, so the next category here is booze. I don't own a lot of boozy fragrances, but there is one here that I really do enjoy very much. This is from the house of Frappin, and it's called 1270 very heavy bottle. I don't hear too much about this in the community, but it is a beautiful boozy gourmand scent. I like the bottle here. There's like a little uh, design back here. Extra detail. Hopefully that's showing up. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So 1270 smells like rum, smells like whiskey but it's sweetened up with a lot of like dried fruit and that combination of like a jammy like prunes or plums or something jammy fruits apricot maybe I'm not sure which notes are in here but I'm getting like a mixed bag of jammy dried fruits and also some sweet smooth semi smoky rum and whiskey in here. Um, beautiful scent, you guys. I love it. <laughs> I really love it. It's the sweetness in here that I like most because if it was just a straight up rum or whiskey kind of scent, then I'm not really sure how much I would love it. But in this one here, the jammy fruits in here really does make it so much easier to wear. And it doesn't really smell like I've spilled some like rum or whiskey on me when I wear this. So this is 1270 from the House of Frappin and it's the booze category. And finally, the last category is called carnal. From what I understand, carnal means like naughty or sexy or sexy in a naughty way. And for this category, I chose a niche fragrance from the House of Moresque. This one is called Alma Pure. 
I blind bought this one late last year and uh, it was a successful one. So let me just spray it here. The cap is like super heavy on this one. Um, but yeah, this bottle is just fantastic gold detail. It's gorgeous. In, por in person, it's even more gorgeous than what it looks like on the camera here. Um, but this one is a sweet, fruity, boozy kind of scent. It has also some rose in here. Actually, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Rose's Vanille from Mansara, but it's not as sweet. And um, this one has like a nuttiness to it and a muskiness to it. It's quite deep and dark and it changes a lot. I find this one to be very sexy, kind of underrated. Actually, I don't know if I heard anyone talk about this one yet, but it is a beautiful, woodsy, floral, boozy, fruity kind of scent. It's a lot of things. <laughs> Maybe I will review this at another time, but yeah, this is very sexy, kind of naughty because there is like maybe a little touch of animalic, uh, an animalic kind of feel in here as well. Um, but also warm and cozy because of the nuttiness in here. I do get a little touch of like pistachio or something in here. So yeah, this is Alma Pure for my carnal scent. Hopefully I answered that one right. So that was my video tag, uh, Sweet Dreams tag, eight gourmand fragrances. Any of you who are watching, you're all tagged if you'd like to do this tag as well. Thank you to Joss Jane and Serve Us Fragrance who tagged me in this video and also to John Snow slash Scented, Scented Snowdrops for starting the tag. Thank you guys so much again and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.